YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Peso Benji, and I'm back with another exclusive update from the GB headquarters. Uh, a lot's been going on. We got all new inventory in. We got shoes on the way, socks on the way, all new shorts, and I finally got my outside sign put up. I know in the last video I was telling y'all I was kind of worried about getting it put up, but they did a great job on that. I also bought a banner and put it underneath. Um, I'm gonna go out there in a little while and show y'all what's going on. We got the window decals up. So if you watch my last videos, you know everything in here was put up. Like nothing came the way it is now. Like, it was just an empty floor and we end up adding the dressing rooms. We end up adding this room behind me. Like this is where the gaming lounge is. And the floors, we put all new hardware floors in here. Um, art gallery, white walls, you know, it's like, Make sure you know your whites. Make sure you know your colors. It's mad different whites. So I end up going with the art gallery white just so I can, uh, you know, if I have somebody that wants to draw on the walls or something, you know, it'd be easy to do that. And uh, my basketball goal for the customers, you know, it's a big attraction. You know, if you come in and beat the high score, you definitely get a free item out of the store. Every day I'm asked, how did you get a store? How did you do this? How did you do that? And it's only one answer I can really give y'all every time y'all ask me that, and that's consistency. I cannot say this enough. Consistency. Like, whatever you're doing, if you keep doing that, people gonna eventually see it. Like, you're not gonna be doing something, putting your all into it for a long time and nobody notices. it. They might not notice it first day, and you giving up and like not pursuing it, that's what really shows if like that niche is for you or not. Like, if you just, drop something and think the world's gonna see it that first day and then you get mad and stop doing it you was never supposed to be in that at like you know what i'm saying you was never supposed to be doing that in the first place like you gotta stick with it and as the customers start coming in as your brand start growing you know you got all that history like they know you ain't no brand new brand they know you started from such and such and you've just been pushing ever since and they they've been watching the process seeing everything gets better and better like that's what it's all about. So consistency, keep doing it, keep showing it, keep dropping heat. If you make clothes, make the best clothes and make sure you have everything. Like with, with gold bills, I try to like have every lane covered. We have socks, shoes, shorts, sweatsuits, windbreaker suits, uh, collared shirts. Let me see, just uh, ashtrays, key lanyards, everything. Like we literally have everything. If we don't have it, we're working on it. Like. I'm looking at the skateboards and the cut too, like gold build clothing, I'm trying to tell you. And this is independent, but we're going there. So we're slowly approaching that one year mark that I've been a store owner and that the store has been here and it's moving so fast. I just remember the last video before it even opened, I was telling y'all I was gonna do this, this and this, but we're here now and the transition from being a, employee to an entrepreneur i wanted to just start documenting this and just help the next person want to do the same thing because i know in my situation is only going to get better and if somebody watched this they might can follow the blueprint you know and have another store if it's next door to mine down the street or whatever like definitely want to start helping and make this a series for y'all so subscribe stay tuned and follow gv